Hello everyone, this is Anuvudi from Sensitive.com. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about skincare product. The ordinary niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% serum. This is like the most rift product online. If I go by online reviews, this is like a magic potion in the bottle for every everyone. So uh, I have super sensitive skin. So what works for everyone might not work for me. And that is the main reason I started this channel and my blog to share uh, reviews from a perspective uh, of a person uh, who have sensitive skin. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about the ordinary niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% serum and see if in my opinion, is it overhyped or a magic potion in the bottle. So first, if we see the packaging, it is like a foolproof, very simple packaging. It is a matte finished glass bottle and uh, with a dropper inside. The directions to use are mentioned on the bottle. Other information regarding the product and what, what are the conflicts, everything is mentioned on the outer carton packaging, which uh, it, it comes in. Um, so everything is mentioned basically on the packaging, which is quite nice. It, and the product itself looks like a hazy, milky uh, serum and it has nice consistency. It, it does feel a little bit sticky, to be honest, and it is fragrance free. Now, uh, let's talk about why I got this in the first place. So I have uh, basically good skin. My only concern is sensitivity and dry patches in the winters and oily patches in the summer. And I do get occasional breakouts, but mostly near my hairline uh, and nowhere else on the face. So in my pregnancy, my skin went haywire. I was breaking out on my cheek and near my jawline and I did not change any skincare product at that time. So, and my skin felt congested, it looked congested. So then I did some research and then I found out that you cannot really use salicylic acid during pregnancy and everywhere I've found that okay the ordinary niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% solution can be beneficial for that so I decided okay everywhere I found uh, positive reviews about it so I really bought this and I went one step ahead and I bought, bought the super size bottle and uh, yeah let's see if that was a mistake so let's talk about how it performed for me. First things first, I did a patch test, not once, but twice. I did not face any irritations. I did one patch test behind my ear and I did one patch test on my um, arm and uh, I did not notice anything weird. So I went ahead and I started introducing this one slowly in my skincare routine. At first I was using it once every alternate day. And then after, just after two applications, uh, I started noticing irritation on my skin. My whole uh, cheek went red and then started to break out even more. So then I thought, okay, maybe I should give it a little bit uh, of time. I continued it uh, for two, one more week and then it just the situation just got worse uh, my breakouts were getting worse my whole face was irritated and moreover the breakouts which i was getting now are pain were painful so then i stopped uh, using it i thought okay i this is the only product i introduced and then uh, i stopped using it for two weeks and then my skin went back to normal and then i did some research and then i knew that okay uh, it can be skin purging and I did some research and I could not find a actual answer that niacinamide can cause purging or not. So then I started using it again. At this time I started using it twice a week and then I uh, read about skin purging. I read that uh, skin purging can last up to six weeks and if your breakouts don't go away after six weeks then it is definitely a reaction. So then that was the only way to find out if that was a skin purging or not. So then I thought, okay, uh, let's start using this one. So I started using this twice, twice a week and I was using two drops again. And I noticed still I was getting breakouts and I started using one drop and then one week went fine. And then next week I started using it alternate days 
and I was still using one drop. I would still notice breakouts, but it was not that worse. So then I started using it uh, by mixing it in my uh, face cream, which was using Clinique my Moisture Surge at that time. So I would mix one drop of this one in my uh, Moisture Surge and I will mix it and then I will apply. And then I noticed slowly it started not breaking me out. Then I noticed that, okay, slowly my irritation was less and then it was not... Uh, the redness was gone and it is not causing breakouts anymore. I thought, okay, I will continue like this and we'll see. I used alternate days for two weeks and then I started using it once every day and I would use it by mixing it in my cream. I would say, yeah, in about a month, my breakouts were gone and the redness was subsided. So yeah, can that be skin purging? Definitely, it can be skin purging. Also, it can be I was using too much product for my skin. I noticed that if I uh, mix two drops in my cream and then apply it, it is perfectly fine for me. But if I apply two drops directly onto my skin, it breaks me out immediately. Like very next day, I would see breakouts on my face. Since I have super sensitive skin, maybe two drops are too strong for my skin or 10% is too strong for my skin and now uh, coming to the effect on my skin since I have mostly good skin I did not really notice any drastic changes using this product it was not like my skin was completely clear so let's sum up my thoughts these are absolutely my opinions once again does this work yes it works did it clear the congestion on my face not really i think i noticed better results with uh, my aha bha toners is it overhyped yes it is is it my holy grail no it is not holy grail can this cause skin purging yes it definitely can cause skin purging it did for me is 10% too strong? Yes, if you have sensitive skin, 10% can be too strong for your skin. So proceed with caution. Even after patch test, this did break me out. Also, even after the skin purging was done, it still breaks me out if I apply two drops of this one directly on my face. So yes, 10% can be too strong for your skin. Uh, as you can see, even after uh, nine months, I have finished only this much of product so it's not even half of the bottle so you know how how cautiously I use this one and I don't really want that in my product uh, will I repurchase this absolutely no I don't think so it is a must-have for me I don't think so it did something really extraordinary for my skin it was just an ordinary product by the ordinary this can be controversial opinion. I'm nowhere a skincare guru or skincare specialist or dermatologist, nothing. I'm just sharing my opinion, how it worked for me, how it worked on my super sensitive skin. That's it. I know this is a magic potion for lots of you. I know many people love this by heart and I can totally understand. I have seen their results and that's why I bought the 60 ml bottle. So yes i have a super sensitive skin and i'm just sharing how it worked for me and that's all so stay tuned for more such videos if you like give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah push that notification bell so whenever i upload a video you get notified that's all bye bye